Ho ho hello, and welcome to the Grizzly Beans Guide to the Feast of Wintervale 2014. In inns all across Azeroth, you will find Holiday Revelers, and if you use the Slash Kiss emote, they will reward you with the token of their gratitude. Uh, either a mistletoe, which will let you give someone a buff, which wishes them season's greetings. A fresh holly, which will let you turn your mount into a reindeer. Or a handful of snowflakes, which will let you shower your target in snowflakes. It's very cute. In all major cities, you will find vendors for smoky wood pastures. The vendors sell holiday food and drink. The usual holiday fare with percentage-based returns on health and mana. The other vendor will sell a number of holiday items, including snowballs that you can throw at other players. Uh, blue, green, and purple wrapping paper that you can basically use as a box for an item to give as a gift. Uh, holiday spices and holiday spirits, which are both regents for holiday recipes. Uh, candy canes, and they also sell a number of cooking recipes. Gingerbread cookies, uh, Wintervale eggnog, which requires 35 in cooking and hot apple cider which will require three to five in cooking and they also sell the gaudy wintervale sweater which when you equip and use will make your character start caroling they also sell patterns for green winter clothes on the horde side and red winter clothes on the alliance side so if you're a tailor you can pick those up um, if you want the opposite color to what you have uh, alliance can pick up the red winter or the green winter clothes in shathrath but the horde tailors will have to make their way into an alliance city and pick it up so good luck uh, they also sell the pattern for winter boots for leather workers. Quests. Great Father Winter is here. To obtain the quest, just go to a Smoky Wood Pastures vendor in any of the major Horde Alliance cities, and then head to your faction's major city to complete it. Horde players turn the quest into the Orc Great Father Winter in Agamar and Alliance players to the Dwarf Great Father Winter in Ironforge and then a new quest will become available. Treats for Great Father Winter. This is another quick and easy quest. You just have to bring the Great Father Winter, five gingerbread cookies and an ice cold milk. You can make the gingerbread cookies if you have cooking. You just buy it off the Smoky Pastures vendors. Uh, or you can buy them in the auction house. The reward for that quest is a Smoky Wood Pastures gift pack, which will contain some low-level trade skill materials. So it's kind of up to you whether or not it's actually worth doing that quest. The daily quest, You're a Mean One, uh, requires you to go to the Hillsbird Foothills and fight the Abominable Grinch and retrieve stolen treats and rescue Mitzen the Reindeer.
the reward for that quest is stolen present which can contain a number of pets and toys most notably the scroll of storytelling which gives everything a sort of old-timey photograph filter the miniature wintervale tree which is a 635 agility dagger and the crash and trash and flyer controller The first time you complete your mean one and turn it in, you will then get a quest from the holiday vendor to go talk to Great Father Winter, who will give you the Smoky Wood Pasture special gift, and this contains a seasonal recipe for a number of different professions. The Elixir of Frost Power for Alchemists, the Edge of Winter, which is a blacksmithing axe, a enchantment formula winter's might the patterns gloves of the great father which sort of completes the costume for the christmas season uh, the tailoring pattern for holiday green shirt and for engineers they get the schematic for snowmaster 9000 which lets them make one snowball per day the recipes are not bind on pickup, so if it's not for the profession you have or you want it for your profession, you can trade and swap them and probably find them on the auction house as well. The last quest is the reason for the season, which is a nice little quest that gives you some background into the lore of the Feast of Wintervale. You talk to Fermund, who's just over here near the vendors and he will send you on to Sigorn Crestrider after he whinges about the commercialism of the holiday a bit. So then head over to Sigorn and he will give you a book, The Feast of Wintervale and a follow-up quest to go talk to Bane Bloodhoof. You can read the book and that's that'll tell you all the lore behind the Feast of Wintervale. And once you bring it to Bane Bloodhoof, he will reward you with 500 reputation for Thunderbluff and 125 for the other city factions. The Alliance version of the quest uh, follows along the same lines, but you will talk to Golik Curran, who is in the commons and finish the quest at Moradin Bronzebeard and it all takes place conveniently in Ironforge so it's not too far to run around. From December 25th to January 2nd you will be able to get a number of presents underneath the tree. At level 1 you will be able to get the Gently Shaken gift which will contain either a Wintervale Roast or a Wintervale Eggnog and possibly one of the new lounge cushion toys. You will also be able to get the carefully wrapped present which will contain a Wintervale cookie and one of three cosmetic transmog warm woolly socks that come in red, blue and green. At level 10 you will be able to pick up the festive gift which will contain the wand of holiday cheer at level 10 you will also be able to pick up the winter veil gift which will contain the crash and trash and shredder controller which is the new toy for this year at level 20 you'll be able to pick up the gaily wrapped present which can contain one of four pets the green helper box the jingle bell the red helper box or the snowman kit and at level 40 you will be able to pick up the ticking present which can contain a preserved holly, a mechanical grinch and any of the profession recipes. Achievements. There are 14 achievements for the Wintervale season, 11 of which count towards the Merrymaker achievement which will give you the title of Merrymaker and also count towards one of the holidays you need to complete for what a long strange trip it's been 
that will reward you the Violet Proto Drink. For the achievement Tis the Season, you will need to wear three pieces of winter clothing and eat Garka's Mince Meat Fruit Cake. You can wear either the red winter hat or the green winter hat, which is dropped by a number of bosses in Northrend Heroics, Cataclysm Normal bosses and Heroic bosses, Siege of Algamar bosses and Warlord of Drainer dungeon bosses. On your chest you can wear the red winter clothes or green winter clothes. These can be crafted by tailors. And on your feet the winter boots and that can be made by leather workers. Garika's mince meat fruit cake is contained in a gift package received within 24 hours of completing either treats for the great father or your mean one and it can also drop from stolen presents. A frosty shake during the Feast of Wintervale, use your Wintervale Disguise Kit to become a snowman and then dance with another snowman in Dalaran. You will receive a Wintervale Disguise Kit in the mail after you complete your mean one for the first time. Bros before Ho Ho Ho's. Uh, for Alliance players, you use Mistletoe that you get from the Revelers on Brother Kiss Christoph, Brother Crowley, Brother Benjamin, Brother Joshua, Brother Cassius. They're all in Stormwind and also Brother Nismitz in Northern Stranglethorn, Brother Wilhelm in Elwyn Forest and Brother Carmen in Dust Wallow Marsh. For the Horde, you use Mistletoe on Brother Malak in Undercity, Dorcott Wolf Brother in the Borean Thundra, and Brother Keltan in Ice Crown. Falalalala Ogrela. Complete the Bomb Limb Again quest while mounted on a flying reindeer during the Feast of Wintervale. For this achievement, you have to be able to do the Shatari Skyguard quest, bomb them again in Blades Edge Mountain. Uh, you can change your flying mount into a reindeer by using either fresh holly or a preserved holly obtained by kissing winter revelers. He knows when you've been naughty. Open one of the presents underneath the Wintervale tree once they become available. Uh, see the under the tree section for more details on that. And it's linked in an annotation. Let it snow. During the Feast of Wintervale, use a handful of snowflakes on each of the race class combinations listed below. Uh, you get the handful of snowflakes from the Winter Revelers with the slash kiss emote. You have to use them on an Orc Death Knight, an Undead Rogue, Blood Elf Warlock, Night Elf Druid, Dwarf Paladin, Torrin Shaman, Gnome Mage, Human Warrior, Troll Hunter, and a Draenei Priest. Uh, just look around your major faction cities or battlegrounds and you should be able to find all of them or just shout out in the chat. On Mitzen, save Mitzen the Reindeer. This is easy, you just have to follow the Yora Mean One daily quest and you should get it the first time. For the Scrooge achievement, just throw a snowball at Bane Bloodhoof or Marden Bronzebeard. You can get snowballs from the vendors. Simply Abominable is another easy one. You just do the Your Mean One quest and you will receive the achievement. The Wintervale Gourmet. Um, use your culinary expertise to produce a gingerbread cookie, a Wintervale eggnog, and hot apple cider. You'll need 325 in cooking skill to make all of them. With a little helper from my friends. Earn 50 honorable kills as a little helper from the Wintervale Wonder Vault machine. You can find these machines in Dunmoro, Exodor, Stormwind, Wetlands, Eversong Woods, Ogamar, Triskel Glades, the Cape of Stranglethorn, Dalaran, Shathrath, and Tanneris. 
just keep transforming into the little helper and sign up for battlegrounds it might take a couple of battlegrounds to do but it's an easy enough achievement to get and those are all the achievements you need for the merrymaker title there are four other achievements uh, the danger zone shoot down another player's crash and trash and flyer with yours the flying trash and crash and flyer controller was the special gift for 2013 if you didn't get it then it, it can be found in stolen presents a caroling we go use the gaudy wintervale sweater to carol in enemy capital cities during the feast of wintervale you can get a gaudy wintervale sweater from the vendors and just click on it to use it and start caroling for the BB King achievement, buy a Red Rider air rifle from a toy vendor and use it on the opposing faction leaders. And finally, Crashin and Trashin gain 25 crashes with your Crashin Trashin racer controller during the Feast of Wintervale. To complete the achievement, you have to crash 25 other racers. The Crash and Trash and Racer has a small chance to drop from Stolen Presence, but you can also complete the achievement with the blue Crash and Thrash and Racer controller from Toy Vendors.